Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, I just finally just got me a little power station here. This is uh, brand new from Harbor Freight. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about these. Uh, I have a, a couple of uh, other little power stations that I'll uh, show you here in a bit. But <clears throat> this is what I got. This is brand new from Harbor Freight. Uh, I just happened to be on their website looking to see when the little Jackery was going to be in stock and this popped up and I thought, hmm, it's the same price. This one's a 350, the other one was a 300. So I thought I'd uh, give it a try. These are uh, at Harbor Freight right now as filming at $199. Uh, they only had three at the store. Um, but this is this is what I got. Uh, the number on this one is 70082. So if you're looking for the same one, uh, just check their website out. Um, I did purchase this. They did not give this to me. Um, there's a, a few things, I, a few reasons I would wanted a, a, a power station like this. And uh, we'll go through that later. But right now, let's... Uh, Let's get this out of the box. Um, oh, and I had a coupon, so I got some free microfiber towels. But let's uh, get this opened up and we'll get it plugged in because it's gonna need to be charged. I'm assuming it needs to be charged. So uh, well, let's get it out of the box. Okay, so again, item number 70082. And we got some tape there. Got some tape there. And we got some tape here. Um, there we go. So there's a bunch of specs on here. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what they are. So um, let's uh, let's just get this out of the box. Okay, so what does it come with? Um, well, it comes with this, which I believe is, so you can hook this up to a solar panel. Um, I believe that's what that's for. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about these things, so. And then we've got a wall plug. It's the same thing that you would have for your computer. And then you've got a 12 volt plug for your car. That's kind of nice. So if you're uh, traveling, you could just plug it in. Well, there's no styrofoam. Uh, this is a little heavier than a lot of them that I, uh, I get and stuff. So. It seems to be packed up pretty good. So here's the book for it. Fully charged before first use or void the warranty. So we're absolutely gonna do that. The box says it takes two hours. So once I get it out and, and get it plugged in, I'll set my timer for an hour and we'll see, you know, about where it's at. Uh, and then we've got the unit itself. So here's the back. That's uh yeah, that's all that's in the box, so let's just get this out of the way. So here's the back. Um you've got a, a 12 volt, 30 volt input here. So this would be you know for the solar charger or the car charger and then your uh, your AC for right there um, another sticker says says to fully charge it um, I like that it's got a handle it's not very big it's the size of a small car battery maybe um, but we've got a, a cigarette lighter here or lighter plug uh, a button for DC, a button for USB. We've got two USB A's and one USB C, which is 100 watt. 
And then we have two uh, AC plugs here, 120 volt, pure sine, leg, uh, sine wave, and neutral floating. And then on the sides, there's nothing there, nothing there. You've kind of already seen the back. So, but there it is for 200 bucks. So let's, uh, this is the power button. Ah, I'm gonna leave that on there for now. So, but it says something hold for three seconds. So let's just, uh, oh, I'll hold it. There we go. So it's at 42%. So I'm thinking an hour or so. So let's uh, get our uh, AC plug here. I'm gonna do this with AC. I don't have a solar panel right now. Um, not yet. They they do have some new solar panels coming, Predator does. So I'm, I'm holding off on that. Uh, So we're just going to use the AC for now. So this here just plugs in. You guys can see that, right? And let's plug this in. What is it going to do? Okay, well it says zero watts. Oh. Time to full. Two hours, 21 minutes. From 42%. Eh, I mean, I guess that's okay. So it looks like it's pulling 80 watts on the input. I'm actually wondering if you can uh, charge this with the AC and a solar panel, if it would go faster, but I don't know. Anyways. So I'm going to set my timer for uh, an hour and then we'll come back and, and take a look at this and I'm just going to drop this down a little bit so you guys can kind of see this a little better. Bear with me. There we go. So again, I'll, let's do an hour and then uh, we'll be back. Okay, so we're coming up on our hour, and it says that we still have an hour and 19 minutes left. Uh, and I'm going to guess that that's pretty accurate. I'll just dismiss that. So, let's, uh, I'm going to leave it on there for another hour, and until uh, this is charged up, and then uh, and we'll put a couple things on there. But this is what I was telling you I had before. And this actually works really good. Uh, but this is only 150 watts. It looks like this. But, you know, this also has a AC plug and it's got a couple of USBs on it. And it, it does have a light as well, but... So if you have Craftsman stuff, and I think the DeWalt's and stuff have these too, but basically you just, and this battery needs to be charged, but you know, there is a light, but, and, and this one is actually louder than this one. This has a fan that runs in it. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but the fan is running. Let me uh, get you a little bit closer here. but it is pretty quiet. So I'm gonna come back in an hour and uh, hopefully this will be charged up then. And, uh, and then we can start seeing what kinds of things this will power. I know it's gonna power phones and stuff. I'm not worried about that, but anyways. So let's come back when it's charged.
Okay, so we're uh, just about there. It says there's a minute left. Uh, it it's pretty it's pretty spot on. Um, so, but when I came out here, it did it did say uh, that there was a minute left, and then it went back up to two minutes. So I'm not sure what to think about that. Anyways, uh, let me grab a couple of things. You know, I've, I've also got this. This is a, a little solar radio that you can charge your phones and stuff with. So I didn't need this to charge phones. Um, I do have a little camper. Oh, there we are, 100%. But uh, so to start off with... Um, you know this I can charge I can charge these batteries with the charger but um, but it there's some things that just won't do uh, this will run a TV for about a little over two hours on on this four amp hour battery um, so that's kind of nice but like I said you know I just needed more capacity than just this so first I want to start with this. So, this is just a little uh, little heater I use in my camper. You know, if you have a camper, you know that you know that propane stove gets pretty loud in the middle of the night. Um, in the winter time, it gets pretty cold around here. But so this is a uh, a Vornado, and let's see on the bottom 120 volt ac it is 750 watts now this has a 700 i just want to see if it'll work um i don't expect it to work on high anyway so it's on high now so we'll just we'll turn the heat off to start off with and then and then i'll put it on low and let's just see what it'll do so I'm going to go ahead and unplug this from the wall and from the back. So, you know, we have no, no anything plugged in there. So, um, let's, uh, let's plug this in here and I think I need to turn that on. There we go. It shows 99, oh, 38 hours. Okay, so let's uh, turn this on. This is just fan only. And actually, it uh, that works pretty good. Just like it's plugged into the wall. So it's pulling 22 watts. So let's see if it'll... Uh, let me put the heater on low. And it instantly went up to 258 watts. Time to empty, 37 minutes. And that is warm. So I'm gonna turn it on high real quick. And it's at 650, it just shut down. So it won't work on high. So we'll push that. The fan's back on. So so we know that this will work for about a half an hour on low. And that's not too bad. Okay. So let's, uh, just for shits and giggles, let's move this over here. See if it'll charge my batteries. And there it goes. And that's pulling 54 watts. So that's not too bad. Okay. 
Okay, so one of the things that I would really, really like this to do, and I don't know that it'll do it or not, and that's okay. Will it run this little coffee maker here? So let's make sure that's turned off. Now, I don't have any water in here yet, and I have no filter, no coffee. So I'm just gonna just gonna heat up some water and I've got, you know, four cups there. You know, I see some reviews on other ones about this size and nobody ever even tries to do this. And maybe, you know, this isn't gonna work. And I should have, I should have, there's no sticker on the back, it's on the bottom. Before I put water in there, I should have looked at it, but I didn't. So let's just see. You know, the green light came on. It's pulling 613. No, nope. overload. Okay. Oops. I turned it off. There we go. So let's reset that. Okay, so we know it's not going to work with that. So one of the things that I like to do is... Uh, If you've seen my channel, I've got a lot of uh, video games and stuff. So let me plug in an arcade. So I have a little uh, arcade one up and this battery runs it for about, I don't know, three or four hours. Um, I just wanna make sure that it uh, is going to do something with it. So let me uh, get some stuff moved around and we'll give that a try. Okay, here's my little uh, arcade one up. So this has a, this is an aftermarket. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is gonna run it and this will probably run it all day. And this is kind of what I wanted it for because I go to video game conventions and I run this. Um, and I don't normally have power. So, so this is pulling 36 watts. Outputs 12 volts, three amps. So let's uh, plug that in. I guess I gotta turn it on. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that volume off. So let's see if that'll turn on. And it looks like it's going to. So this is actually really quiet. Um, this does have a fan, but the fan is really quiet. And there we go. So that's uh, uh, one player. So it does it does work. Um, We'll get into the little bit of the game here. Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, he's kicking my butt right now, but that's okay. But you can see it's, it's, it's gonna run that, no problem. So, let's uh, go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to unplug this. So if you watch the video where I was uh, repairing the heater in my car, you would have saw I've got another arcade cabinet here. So let me, now the monitor doesn't work in this. I'm actually waiting on parts, but let's just see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of power this pulls. Uh, we should be able to hear it, I think. Um, let, me, uh, let me get this 
poster off of here. And yes, that is a dealer poster. Ugh. So, um, well, let's just plug this in. And let me go turn it on. Somewhere underneath here. Here we go. Well, I can hear the fan running. We won't see anything on the screen. But it is running. The, the I, I do have the speaker disconnected on it, but but it is running, and I did. And that's just what I wanted to see. So, and that's only pulling 70 watts. Uh, I imagine once the monitor is working, that'll pull some more. Let's pull that off. Okay. Let me uh, set this back over on the bench. Okay, I have a KitchenAid mixer here. Now this one needs all new grease and it needs a new gear for this little piece right here. So let's uh, let's see if it'll if it'll run this. So let's plug that in. That's pulling 100 and 100, about 158 watts. 165. Let's turn it all the way up. About 170 watts. So, so anybody out there that likes to bake, I mean, if your power's out, I mean, you can bake a cake or, you know, some cookies or something. Yeah, so it runs a few things. <clears throat> um, I'm actually uh, pretty impressed that it runs this little heater. Um, albeit, it runs it on low, which is fine. Uh, I always, I, I very rarely ever run it on high anyways. So, let's start off with the fan. And we'll turn it on low. We'll just let it run. So you can see this thing's gonna run on low for about 30 minutes. But that's not bad. I mean, if you're cold and you need to, you know, get warmed up. But <clears throat> I'm, I'm pretty impressed with what this thing is doing. Uh, I, to be honest, was did not expect it to run this little this little fan. Um, I pretty much knew that it was going to run my my video game stuff, and that's okay. So that fan's running. You can see it's got the little icon there, right there. And I can feel airflow out the side, so that's good. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I was surprised that it run the KitchenAid. I knew it wasn't going to run that big heater, and I was very skeptical whether it would run that, that Mr. Coffee. And uh, that doesn't surprise me at all. Like I said, this is, this is mainly used for emergencies, you know, and to take with the conventions with me. You know, I can plug in a TV and, you know, a, a Nintendo 64 or a PlayStation or something and and let this thing run for a while. I can run that arcade cabinet. Uh, once I repair that Donkey Kong cabinet, uh, once the mo I get the monitor working, I'll test it with that and we'll see how it does. So, but that's, uh, that's the Predator power station. So... I hope you guys like it. Uh, I'm quite impressed with it.
So I've never had a power station like this before, so I don't have anything to compare it to. So, you know, maybe it's poop. I don't know. But for what, I've, what I'm going to be using it for, it's perfect. And uh, that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.